hello welcome back to my channel i've been gone for a little bit i think i only posted like one video but i'm back now um just getting my life together but anyways today i want to discuss something that i'm personally focusing on and that i'll bring it to all of you and hopefully in the comment section you're able to give me some tips as well but it is about defining your personal style. So of course, we have social media, and so we are inundated with a bunch of different styles, but like, it don't all work for everybody. That doesn't make any sense. So, you know, instead of getting completely influenced with everything that I see, or that we're all seeing, you know, you gotta make sure that you're identifying what works for you in particular. So I have broken it down into, I think I have four hard and fast rules, but they're not really a rule. So rule number one, be true to yourself. I know it sounds cheesy, but literally like just stick to what you feel is genuinely you. So for instance, if you're not into like overexposing skin, right, but sometimes it's it is a trendy trendy pieces come out that have like plunging necklines or whatever it is if that's not you don't force it right don't force yourself into a particular style because it is trendy there's a significant difference between a very distinct difference between trendy and style right style is everlasting trendy is only for a period of time you don't have to jump on every trend. There's literally a trend like every day. You know how not feasible that is? Or unless you're rich, I guess, but that just doesn't make any sense for most of us. And so, you know, sticking to what works for you and what's truly uniquely you will help you navigate when you're trying to determine what your personal style is. I remember I so badly, I wanted to participate in the like braless trend. Rihanna made it so cool. You know, you it was like plunging necklines. You weren't wearing any bra. And it looked cute on the people that it looked cute on. But whew, for me, no. I literally went into, remember it was Urban Outfitters. I kept trying on a bunch of different tops. Like, oh, maybe this one will work. Maybe that one. No, it's not for you. You look crazy. And not only do I look crazy, I literally felt like this is not even me. I don't, I don't walk around with tops like that. So it doesn't make any sense, right? So, you know, sticking to yourself and understanding like, who am I? Also, you know, like, how do I want to feel when I'm wearing this particular piece or these particular pieces? What do I want to bring forward that is true about myself, right? So that's rule number one. So rule number two, what makes you feel the best? So me personally, I love to tell a story with my clothes, particularly because I am a, I would define myself as a extroverted introvert. I know there's all different ways of defining these personalities or whatever, but for me, I lean more towards being a introvert. I'm reserved in some ways, but I'm not shy like at all, like don't blow me. Like if, <laughs> I will definitely speak up. But sometimes that gets misconstrued. But you know, for my clothing, I always joke around, I'm like, the clothes gonna let you know I am not shy. I'm not quiet, I'm just reserved. I just be chilling sometimes, right? So um, I like to just tell a story with my clothes. I like things that are sparkly or have feathers or tulle or have ornate like 3D details on them. That is something that when I throw it on, it's like, mm, you know, I feel like I just automatically feel good. Like it could be a crummy day. Get me a, get me in a cute outfit, do my makeup a little bit. It's automatically, it's a good day. That's it. Turn the whole day around. And you know, for when you're defining like what makes you feel the best, just also think about the days like when you've gone out and you just got back-to-back -back compliments, right? What were you wearing? And you know, 
I would assume, but you, you know, take into consideration and you think about it yourself, like, how did you feel when you were getting all those compliments? Like, I would assume that you felt good, right? And so just think about what was I wearing? Like, how did I feel that day? And so that will also help you with navigating and like determining, you know, what makes me feel the best. Is it when I feel like super girly and I'm wearing like a dainty dress? Is it when, like I said, I'm wearing like my ornate lively tops? Does that make me feel confident? I go into work sometimes, I wear my pink suit. That's when I know I'm about to be a boss that day. Like if I have a presentation, it's going pink, electric blue. Cause I'm like, oh, I'm about to be the focus of the room today. I'm about to be talking and you know, gotta keep their focus on me. Hot pink, yellow. <laughs> I'm just a very like colors oriented girl. So, um, you know, think about that for yourself. Rule number three, find some inspiration. And I don't mean carbon copy because you're uniquely you. So just literally inspo. Take a look, Instagram, Pinterest, create a little like mood board. Um, you could even do it of course on your phone or wherever, but which person which styles are you like yeah i could see myself in that naturally not forcing myself into a particular trend but like i can see myself in that and you know make it your own try out one of the pieces that you see if it's if you see that you're really into like a classic clean look nautical tops white button down shirts start incorporating that into your wardrobe little by little don't go crazy because you don't want to just fill your closet up with things while you're still like in your exploration phase stage, I should say. But, or go into the store, create outfits. I remember I used to work at American Apparel um, back when I was in college and I would go in, try on different outfits, see what fits me. You don't have to buy things just because you're trying them on. <laughs> so just go into the stores, take a look, try different things on see what looks good on you you know go 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 there prepared and ready i think one of the best times is like when you already have your makeup done you're like set and ready to like go and then you go throw on try on different outfits sometimes if i'm not all done up i'm like i just look a mess and everything oh, that's how you feel but set set the stage so that you're already feeling your best looking your best and then you're going out and about to explore and see you know let me put let me put together a few looks um play around in the store you know i just think fashion is supposed to be fun finding your style that should be really fun as well don't get overwhelmed or try not to get overwhelmed by it but it's it's a process and it's not you know finite it's not you know you don't have to define it today and then you can't you know if you see a trend you could still incorporate that trend. If you see that your style is starting to gravitate in a different direction, go with it, try it out. Um, it's supposed to be a fun, fun process. So make it yours and make it fun, gravitate. Rule number four, know your silhouette, know how to incorporate your silhouette, and also what textures you like to get into. So like knowing your silhouette, are you more on the thin side? Do you like when something's more like an A-line on you? Do you like outfits or dresses or tops that have a flair to them? Um, there's little details that make the biggest difference. So for instance, I like to draw attention to particular parts of my body sometimes. So one of the things I'll incorporate quite often is ornate sleeves, you know, like bell sleeves, it can be like flaring, kind of like a bell bottom, but on your arms, but just something that adds a little bit of drama to my outfit. Um, but what it also does is that it creates a thinner appearance. Um, so it accentuates the arms rather than like the center of your body. Um, so it's little details like that, that make a difference. Um, but in terms of like knowing your silhouette, when you dress to your particular silhouette, you pretty much look good in everything. You could throw on a T, you're gonna look good. Because that particular t-shirt, you made sure, right? You made sure that the cut of that shirt didn't make you look frumpy 
unless it's what you're going for. I don't know. I don't usually go for frumpy, but to each his own. Um, so even with my t-shirts, literally, like, okay, I like t-shirts that are more like a v-neck. A v um, I'm a little bit more on the busty side. And so sometimes with some things like a round neck top, think for me it accentuates the bustiness some people like that but I don't really like that um so I will get a v-neck that doesn't significantly plunge down kind of like this top this is a button up but same idea where I'm still I still feel somewhat covered up um in the chest area and even when I am like exposing the chest area, I know what's the most flattering for me. Like I like a sweetheart neckline. It gives structure, it defines the cleavage area, but it doesn't look like I'm just throwing it all to the wind. Um, again, just, just not my thing. Uh, so I hope these style tips were helpful for you. Um, again, it's supposed to be fun. Like keep it fun, make it fun for yourself. I am particularly focused on this because I'm starting to get a lot more unique pieces and they're pricier too. And I'm just hyper focused on, you know, what is it about these pieces? I don't just wanna buy them because like I saw the latest Instagrammer or whoever, or Beyonce or Nicki Minaj, my girl. Um, or Nicki Minaj wearing a piece, right? I have to make sure that, yes, it looked good on her. It looked good on all of them. But is it something that's for me, right? So I hope, I hope this was helpful for all of you. If you have any tips for me, leave them in the comments. I am open, always ready and willing to incorporate tips. Um, and yes, looking forward to talking fashion with you some more. See ya.